Temple University offers a GMSI program, Global Management of Social Issues, an international bachelor, but studying is much more than just going to lectures and debating with other students. So we are going to talk about what Tilburg has got to offer as a student life. And we're going to do that with three persons who are all second year students of the GMSI program. And the first one is Monica Villalobos from Venezuela. And her main uh, interest is wicked problems such as climate change or global warming. And her special focus is developing countries. And in the middle we have Adam Jecic. He's from Poland, he's also of course a second year student, and he's currently the president of MUN Tilburg, an association model United Nations Tilburg. And well, Adam, I'm looking forward to hearing much more about you because you've lived in a lot of different countries, Kuwait, Egypt, and let's hear from you what the Tilburg has to offer. And last but not least, we have Panna Kerti, and she's from a small town in Hungary, and she's currently a student ambassador and the chairwoman of the student advisory platform. Her main focus is on migration, also one of the wicked problems uh, within the GMSI program. Um, and after this study, she wants to work with minor unaccompanied uh, refugees. So that's my panel, and they know all about student life in Tilburg. Uh, Monica, first question, because Tilburg, student life, you think partying, you think beers. What is your favorite bar in Tilburg? <laughs> well, I will say that my favorite bar will be Studio. Also, because I started working there, and you know, I have some benefits for doing that. That's your but employer. <laughs> ah, okay. Yes, but to be honest, like we are one of the clubs that uh, we. I'm already part of them. <laughs> that um, yeah, that we open until late, especially when there's a special events. We're one of the few that actually open until quite late, and we're also open like all days during the weekdays. So I think it's like very nice. But to be honest, like all bars are like in the same street mostly. So if you don't like it, if you don't like studio, my recommendation is go to studio. <laughs> but otherwise, you can always try like other types of bars. So plenty of parties, yeah. plenty of bars. Yes. <laughs> well, and, and uh, Adam, you li you've lived in Kuwait. Egypt and now in, in the Netherlands in Tilburg, what, what has Tilburg got to offer? Um, to me, practically everything that, that uh, any student would need. Um, I think anyone would find something for themselves. Like? From sports centers to forests to through parks, through bars and pubs, museums, cathedrals, um, concert halls, festivals. There is really is something for everyone, and I think that's that's great. And what do you do in weekends or in uh, evenings? Um, usually we just go to town, have a mm -hmm. drink here or there. Um, sometimes if the weather is nice, during the day we tend to go for a picnic to the park, so that's really nice. Nice. And uh, of course we have a beautiful green campus. Pana, what, what's the best place to go to when you're on campus? I would say that um, going to the park behind the um, sea building, uh, you can always have a nice picnic there and it's super cool because you know on the tables you also have uh, the plug so you can charge your um, your laptop as well so you know you can study there you can you know hang out there with your friends i believe that's the coolest place to be within the nature as well exactly very nice well let's let's specifically talk about what um, you can do as students be beyond your gmsi studies yeah. because there are plenty of movies online which which are about student life in tilburg as a whole but let's let's focus on gmsi and what what else you can do because uh, Pana, you're um you're a student counselor but is that like um, something that you would recommend for all new GMSI students to, to participate in? Uh, I'm personally am a student ambassador, ambassador. For, uh, from, for Global Management of Social Issues. This means that during the open days and the student for a day event, uh, I get to promote the course and meet those students who could be prospective students and who are interested in the program. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a great uh, opportunity because this way you can be you know, part of a very active team, a very social team, and also you can really uh, be interactive with those students who you have the same interest with, you know? And this way you can really communicate it that, you know, this is a program to be. This is the best program to, to be in. I would say so, yeah, because if you know you have the same interest, it's really cool to see that, you know, you connect with those people and then, you know, you already have a connection and then you can, you know, better communicate that and, and I think it's great to reach out to those people for sure. And I think you yourself also gain quite a lot, right? I, I think... can definitely say that I think I became way more open, way more yeah. communicative and you know my interpersonal skills also developed. And yeah. that's also better, these skills you can use them as well within the uh, program, within the GMSI program. Exactly and I think it's very important for GMSI to be open-minded and very communicative because this way um, you know you can better interact with your teachers as well and you can really get those ideas and, and really can, you know, 
kind of put all your thoughts together and then and then create something new, I would say. Nice. Um, you also participated in, uh, in the MUN Tilburg, the yeah. uh, Model United Nations, which well, the link between uh, the studies GMSI and uh, United Nations is very short because I think you, United Nations and GMSI deal with the wicked problems. Yeah. So what do you do within the association? There in, is indeed a very, very close link, as you, as you say. And uh, what we do at uh, MUN uh, is first and foremost, we offer students a platform uh, where they can step into the shoes of UN ambassadors and to politicians and debate those issues that we talk about in class in a formal uh, political UN-like setting. Um, so you really do get to apply the theory into practice. Um, apart from that, obviously, we offer a lot of excursions. So for instance, we visit the European Commission or the European Parliament in Brussels. We go to the International Criminal Court in The Hague. Um, we it's a great opportunity for many. Yes. Yes. To see future job opportunities Perhaps, or... Yes, yes, yeah. that too. Um, we also offer a lot of uh, workshops where students, uh, when they become a member of the association, um, they take part in workshops where we teach them a lot of public speaking, debating, and negotiation, but also character building skills. Right now in the 21st century, and I hope you will agree, um, those skills are absolutely essential, Definitely. not just in the labor market, uh, but also in day-to-day -day social interactions with migration on the rise, I would say. I totally agree with that, yeah. And I do believe that it's important to, um, you know, to be able to participate, to have that opportunity, you know, to be able to participate in that. And, you know, I think MUN is offering a really high quality uh, training in that. And, 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 you know, that also shows in the competitions and in the tournaments they went to. You're a good ambassador, uh, <laughs> just, just to say. Um, but uh, why, why is it so important that students are active besides the studies? Because, of course, you need to get grades, you need to get the points. Um, but why is it so important to develop yourself besides the GMSI program courses that you have already? Because at the end, your future career is not going to depend on doing essays or doing, I mean, depends on what you focus on. But at the end, it's about building networks. It's about seeing what you might look like at work or what your career will, like, might look like, for example, by going to the European Commission mm -hmm. and places like that. Uh, but also, it's a way to interact with like, in people in real life. It's like a practical uh, like application of what you do at GMSI. So I think it is essentially important to yeah to like develop your your skills and even your academic skills just like in a more like practical setting in a sense. I think yeah I do agree with Monica in the sense that um, you know I think it's very double-sided university life because you know you have the 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 you know the very academic side of of uh, student life where you study and then you participate in classes. But in the meantime, if you are particularly interested in something, and that doesn't necessarily be need to relate it to your, your study, you know, you can really find a huge, like a great range of uh, associations at Tilburg University that you can participate in, including UNICEF, including Tilburg Model United Nations, the International Student Advisory Platform, you know, various organizations standing but for different people's of, rights. A lot of sport activities, a lot exactly. of other associations, and I think um, taking part in such activities is all about making the best of your student experience. Because as has been said, yes, obviously being at university is about you know, learning something, acquiring new knowledge, um, but that circle is not complete without taking part in the vast uh, majority of different activities that um, Tilburg University has to offer. And I think what is even greater about it is that some of these activities are organized by students for students, and that's the best, as, as good as it gets. For instance, the activities from NU and Tilburg. Exactly, yeah. precisely. Uh, what yeah. do you do, Monica, besides, uh, besides the studies, of course? What, what, what are your well, associations you're a member of? Well, associations, I will say I'm mostly part of uh, sports associations. Mm -hmm. I'm also, like, I, I also, like, um, closely, like, I participate sometimes in the MUN, and I also, like, travel around, because one of the things about the MUN, just to quickly thing, uh, say that, is that um, you can get to... And this is not a promo movie for MUN. No. Let that be clear, okay? <laughs> it's not just a promo for MUN, it's the student life besides the GMSI studies. But, but it's that you participate in debate with other students that are not necessarily from Tilburg University, and that mm -hmm. you, get, you get to meet people People that you might at the end end up working with them in the future. So I think that's a great opportunity, and not only for uh, MUN, but also other associations like the Debate Club or like I don't know the. It's, it's all about building ISIC, a network. For example, so yeah. there's 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 a, a lot. Basically, the point is that there really is a lot of different activities from Zumba through debating all the way to um, hockey and um, swimming, for example. So there really is that very 
very uh, large span. Because you, you do a lot of sports. What kind of yeah. sports do you do? I run a lot. I have a running team, actually. Uh, it's called Parsivar here at uh, university. I also swim, but I'm not part of the team because I don't swim that well. But I mean, there are three pools in Tilburg that you can join. So I mean, and once you have the sports membership, then you can have access to all of them for free. And maybe maybe a, a teasing question, but how does swimming improve your GMSI skills? I think the more physically active you are, the more productive overall you are. And one of the main characteristics of GMSI is that we're supposed to be multi, like we have supposed to be, we have to have a multi-dimensional personality in a sense. That And that means that you, you can have like different interests, that you're not only focused on migration, for instance, like that's your only focus and you only do that and you don't do sports, you don't drink, you don't do anything. Like you're supposed to be active and have a life uh, like apart yeah. from, because at the end we are, do, we are debating and we are analyzing and we're exploring about social issues. Yeah. And that means being part of like social activities. That means understanding society in a sense. So it's all about creating that holistic holistic true. picture, I would say. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, because you guys are uh, from abroad and you came to Tilburg, um, maybe future students will come, uh, will, will migrate to Tilburg as well. Um, are there, th there are things that they need to take into account when, when coming here to Tilburg? Are there things necessary, first things they need to do? I would say, and perhaps as a word of advice, um, look at accommodation in advance. I think um, if you look well in advance and if you start preparing, it shouldn't be a problem. However, if you leave it until two days before, uh, before arrival day, then obviously that might create certain issues. So my advice would definitely be um, be aware of yourself, be aware of where you're going and be, ha have, you know, just have a quick checklist, as ridiculous as it, may, as it may sound, have a checklist of what you need to take with you, what you need to do, and on top of that checklist, it should be um, securing accommodation. And yeah, I think that's very true, but I also think um, reaching out to your fellow students once you are oh, here yeah. is also really important. And not our just program, the GMSI students, exactly, but also the but other also students. Also the whole university. I believe that, uh, for example, with our program, uh, Adam started to reach out to students, and that from the beginning created a really strong basis for GMSI, and that's why we are so we have such a good, uh, you know, community. Community, yeah, yeah, exactly. So that was really fruitful, I guess, from from Adam's side, and I would advise that to anyone. Yeah. Also, in regards okay. to housing, I will say that I will recommend students to live with other students because that will create yeah. like a first of all, a nicer environment. You're always like communicating with people and that will like make you less isolated. If you feel like, if you don't like sports, if you don't do anything, like if you're only focusing on your studies, that will actually encourage you to do more things, at least with your housemates, you know, to like, I don't know, share a picnic, go for one drink or a tea or a coffee if you don't drink, like whatever. But I think living with people is definitely a way to not only get involved with your uni like fellow uh, bachelor students but also with other people from like part not even it doesn't even have to be students from Tilburg University like I used to live with people from Fontys or like from other academic like other, institutions. Other schools in Tilburg. Yeah. 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 It just makes it easier from a practical perspective as well if, if you're coming say from Vietnam or the United States which is obviously quite far away to this um, fairly small city in Europe for the first time I think it's from a practical perspective it's also easier if you already live with other people who are exactly on the same boat, um, it just makes it easier for you. And that is also important to remember that everyone, as a first year student, is in fact on the same boat. So if someone just feels a bit lost at the beginning, um, first of all, have in mind that you're not there on your own. And second of all, um, there are loads of other students just like us who yeah. are more than happy to help as well. So as I think well that's as also. As the universities, um, there is an arrival days event, you know, in, yeah. in August, and they also help with uh, creating your new bank account and also, you know, several activities that the university assists you with. And I think living with that opportunity is definitely very advantageous because, advantageous you know, after that, you don't need to do it yourself alone. So it's all about building the network again. Definitely, yeah. Um, <laughs> just one last question because um, I think we, we, we've discussed a lot of uh, important topics for, for students when they yeah. come here to Tilburg. So we could say Tilburg is a real student city. Yes. yes and student sure. friendly. Student very friendly. Student as well, friendly very and what do you mean with student friendly? Um, by student friendly, I mean that first of all, there's a lot of students here. Um, and that obviously creates a very student like atmosphere. Second of all, as we said at the very beginning, there really is a lot of different activities for you to do, not just at the university, but also in town. Obviously, Tilburg is not New York City or London, we won't lie, um, <laughs> but I honestly genuinely do believe that it is um, big enough for you to enjoy yourself. 
uh, but small enough for you to um, accidentally run into someone that you weren't planning on running into. So, and I think that really defines Tilburg really, really well. I do agree with that. Something to add to that? Um, if you don't know how to ride a bike, please learn. <laughs> learn how to ride a bike. Yes. <laughs> yeah, and don't yes. be afraid of uh, not being able to speak Dutch. After a few years, sure. it's going to oh, come yeah. naturally. But before that, it's completely fine if you only speak English. Okay, then, then let's, let's end this uh, short movie clip uh, with one important sentence that you need to know in Dutch. From a person from Venezuela, Poland and Hungary, ladies and gentlemen. So, good luck. One sentence in Dutch. <laughs> Can I just say a word, though? A word is also fine. I will say lekker. Lekker. Very important. I would say gezellig. Brabant. I would say thank you well because you should say thank you for things that you are thankful for. Aww. Well, <laughs> thank you so much for your in, uh, <laughs> thank you. information. Thank you for watching and uh, good luck with everything with thank the studies you. and thank everything you that much. you do beside the studies. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, let's go to a bar now, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah.